welcome to today's lecture second part of amino acid today i will discuss about uh, the classification of amino acid based on the nutritional status on the basis of nutritional status we can classify amino acid in three group essential non-essential and conditionally essential so in this lecture i will discuss details about the essential amino acids so from the name we can easily identify that essential amino acid this can't be synthesized from the scratch and must therefore come from the diet especially for the human so human can't synthesize this in de novo de novo means from the very beginning this nine are considered as essential amino acid for human these are leucine isoleucine valine threonine, methionine, lysine, phenylalanine, histidine, and tryptophan. And for plants and bacteria, they can synthesize all of these. So these are not essential for plants and bacteria. Let's go see. So leucine, isoleucine, and valine, these three essential amino acid is also known as branch chain amino acid. They are known as branch chain amino acid because if we look closely to their structure, we have seen that their carbon is attached with two or more another carbon to make a branch which is a unique character. And this branch chain amino acids contribute the protein synthesis of muscle tissue and also responsible for the repairing of these tissues. And around the 35% of the uh, essential amino acids which are contributing for the muscle uh, protein tissue they are come from this branch chain amino acid and among these three branch chain amino acid leucine is very important because it can activate the mTOR signaling pathway this mTOR stands for the mammalian target of rapamycin and this mTOR protein kinase is very important to for the protein synthesis and also also the cell growth and this isoleucine and valine they have also another function of the blood sugar uh, blood sugar synthesis blood sugar control and also the energy energy production and valine which is first isolated from the casein and it's named as valine because it has a structurally similarity with valeric acid and this valeric acid comes from the root of valerian plants and this three branch chain amino acid if there is any dysfunction of the oxidation process then one disease form this name of this disease is maple syrup urine disease so another essential amino acid named threonine this threonine is very important for the uh, production for the absorption of calcium and also it helps for the collagen production this name comes from the monosaccharide four carbon monosaccharide threonic acid and another essential amino acid methionine this methionine is sulfur containing amino acid and it also play a vital role to form another amino acids like another sulfur containing amino acids cysteine and also taurine although taurine is not proteinogenic and not for essential for human but this is essential for the cat and it has a multi function especially for the membrane stabilization osmoregulation and antioxidative effect and this methionine also a precursor for the hormone ethylene then another essential amino acid lysine this lysine is very important for the production of carnitine this carnitine is important for the synthesis of fatty acid now another amino acid is non essential amino acid non phenylalanine this phenyl phenylalanine is the very important for the production of tyrosine and also it can help to produce different neurotransmitters such as dopamine which is responsible for the mood and memory and again histidine another essential amino acid known as histidine histidine helps to produce histamine this histamine is a again another neurotransmitter that play a key role in the immune system immune response 
and is also response for the systems of allergics and then another last one last tryptophan last uh, essential amino acid tryptophan tryptophan is also convert to serotonin serotonin is another hormone which is very important because it's related to the mood and also other memory and other stuff and again this serotonin is also precursor for the production of melatonin and tryptophan also a precursor to produce niacin Nia, as you know niacin is a b vitamin and this is very important for various metabolic process that's all about today's nine essential amino acid let's summarize to this today's lecture in human nine essential amino acid among the 20 22 proteinogenic amino acids are known as essential amino acid among these nine essential amino acid leucine isoleucine and valine these three known as branch chain amino acid and this branch chain amino acid can contribute 35 percent of the essential amino acid responsible for the production of protein in muscle tissue and among this leucine is very important for the activating of mTOR signaling pathway and isoleucine and valine these two are very important because they can contribute blood sugar level control and also energy production and threonine plays a vital role in calcium absorption and also collagen production and in case of methionine this can produce cysteine taurine and ethylene hormone and then lysine which is helps to produce carnitine which is one of the most important uh, for the fatty acid metabolism and it has also contribute histone modification phenyl alanine which can produce tyrosine and it also produce different neurotransmitters such as dopamine and last histidine histidine is contribute to produce histamine and tryptophan which is very important for produce serotonin and it can also convert to melatonin and also produce niacin that's all about today's lecture thank you very much and please subscribe my channel thank you